video. Today we're going to talk about alfalfa quality and a tool that we can use to make sure that we're harvesting our alfalfa on time. One of the key things that a lot of growers tell us is that the most important cut they take is first cut. So getting it harvested in a timely manner makes a lot of sense. So what we have today is a peak stick and basically what we're going to do is go out into the field, in the alfalfa field, take five to six representative areas and determine what the vegetative state is of that field. So in this particular case, we're in the bud stage. So I'm gonna take the alfalfa peak stick, put it down on the ground, take a representative two foot area, pick the highest plant, hold it up on the stick, and take the relative feed value score. So in this particular case, we have a score of about 164. For most dairy operations for top ending producers, we wanna get in that 140 to 160 relative feed value range. Keeping in mind though, by the time you cut your alfalfa, harvest it, you get the wilting and everything else, it's gonna drop about 20 points. So if you're aiming for 160 relative feed value, you wanna try and cut at 180, about 20 points earlier. A second rule of thumb is that on average, the crop's gonna drop about three and a half to five points relative feed value per day. So you can use that in your calculation as well to help you determine when the ideal time is to harvest your alfalfa.